Hey everybody, welcome back to this month's edition of my video blog. I'm going to be talking about my adaptation to London LSC and the general course culture here. Alright, so on campus so far, my adaptation is going really well. Class-wise, we just got done with our first wave of essays, and so we're about to get them back. I'm a little nervous, but I think I did pretty well. Um, I really am enjoying all my classes so far. On a personal level, I was actually elected general course president. Basically, my job is to plan social events that really forms a cohesive bond between all the general course members. Now I want to introduce you guys to a couple of my friends to see how their experiences here at LSE are going so far. So we've already gone through one and a half months of our experience at LSE so far. Anything about experience so far that was kind of difficult to adapt to or something you weren't looking forward to? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, the, the teaching style here abroad is so much different than back home. You know, it's a lot more hands off, do your own work. You got to put time in outside the classroom because yeah. you're really in class only, you know, maybe even half the time that I was in class back in the United States. So that was a huge adjustment, but you know, it's, it's nothing to be worried about and definitely getting used to it now. So. I'll say the weather. Um, so I knew, <laughs> I knew what I was getting into, like coming to London, but yeah. for example, right now, like it's get, it gets dark here at like 4 PM, yeah. which is actually really difficult to get used to. So yeah. mm -hmm. um, just sort of, it's getting a little bit cold and a little bit rainy, but we, you know, you kind of get prepared for that. And, kind of get your mental like state ready for the weather, but um, definitely not a fan of that. But. What are some of the highlights of your experiences so far? Yeah, I think uh, something really cool that I got to take part in is I'm actually on the LSE basketball team. So a pretty big crowd support every week, which has been a lot of fun to see oh, people no come out to our games. Um, so it's been great. We're playing lots of schools from around London and from the UK. Um, so just to be able to keep playing basketball here has been a lot of fun. Logan, okay, what are some of your highlights? You know, over the past month I started to realize, you know, the benefits of staying here for a year rather than you know, just coming for a semester. Um, spending a whole year at the LSE allows you to get so much more involved uh, than you would be at like another school. I know I'm in Entrepreneurship Society, Business, Finance, and Investment Group. Um, we're starting a country society. We're trying to bring country culture um, to the LSE, London, um, et cetera. And so we're hosting a, a country music radio show called the, the Cowboy on Pulse Radio. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Pulse Radio. My name's Logan Lofto. My name is Zach Flagel. And this is... The, the Cowboy! Cowboy. Yeehaw! Uh, that's an absolute blast. Uh, we're gonna be having, you know, various events, whiskey tastings, listen to country music, hope to go to some concerts together, stuff like that, so that's super exciting. Get all right, next I want to take you guys on a tour of High Holbert. It's one of the biggest dorms, the second biggest dorm here at the LSE, with 450 students of all different types, so freshmen, uh, undergrads, postgrads, and general course students. I have four uh, people on my flat, including me, one other general course student, and then two freshers, one from the Philippines and one from Russia. We've gotten uh, really close, uh, cooked dinner together once a week. Uh, so I'm really liking that. Let me actually go show you right now. I'll take you on a tour of High Holborn. All right, here is our general uh, living area with the TV. We have a student bar over here that operates every Friday night. Walking over here, we have our game room. So big game room, as you can imagine, um, on Friday nights and Saturday nights, it gets pretty crowded down here. Here's the computer room where people are probably studying right now. We have a room with about uh, eight to ten computers, typically every day and every night. That computer room is really, really packed with people. Um, that's some, for some, their favorite place to study, um, where I usually study too. All right, everybody, that wraps up this video blog, so hope you liked it, and we'll see you next time.